got Spooky versus Level Up. I, I suppose so. <laughs> Oh, this is great. We got Spooky versus Level Up and FADC on the mic. Oh, <laughs> this is the best thing to ever happen. <laughs> hey, only at EVO 2010. Only at EVO. get these fine folks together and put on some magic for you yeah. folks at home who couldn't make it out to disgustingly sunny Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, do these two have a tournament history in Vanilla 4 so far? Not really, no. actually. I don't remember them playing each other. But they've both been all. around for like 15 years. Yeah, yeah. but I'm, I'm surprised. I can't think of when the last time these two guys fought was. No, I, yeah, I can't either. Arturo hasn't been traveling a lot in the last year or so. Actually, I think the last time they may have fought each other was at Bar Fights 2. I don't remember if they actually played each other. And Arturo taking it right to Alex. That was a smart trade he used with the anti-air judo chop right there. And uh, I do feel that in Super Street Fighter 4, Dalsim has a pretty good fight against Ryu. Yeah, Dalsim definitely one of the characters who's improved a lot since uh, the last game. Oof! Slid right into a level two focus. Ooh, Vi That's some opting chunky to damage. go straight into the uppercut link, just in case he doesn't want to miss that. I, I have seen so far one big screen forward fierce down fierce. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if Vi can make the adjustment here. Arturo did an excellent job keeping him out. Once again, I mentioned this earlier on the stream, but Arturo is one of the best spacers I've ever seen. He spaces his character so well and causes the opponents to whiff just barely almost every time. And now it's time for Arturo to use that ultra. And you know what? Even though that didn't succeed, he's out of the corner. Time for him to run away. Oh, oh no! no. no the oh. That's the Valle Classic I've been talking about all day. The Valle oh, Classic. Walk to, up, EX Tatsu. They're going to have to rename the EX Hurricane Kick as the Alex Valle or something. <laughs> nice background house there from Arturo. Alex Valle kick. Something yeah. like that. Now yeah. this is something that you've Alex said Valle before, kick. James Chen, is that uh, is that Alex Valle so often loses the first round almost badly, but then comes back so strong. Yep. He's downloading, man. Yeah. He's, he's on that 14-4 bod. Oh, you know, it takes him. It takes him around. Once he's done downloading, though, it's fine. The processor's good. The modem's just bad. Yeah, but you know what? That that works very well against some good. You know, a lot of your typical players, but Arturo is not your not typical your player. player at all. Arturo has been one of the top players since the pretty much the beginning of uh, time. It feels like. <laughs> and there you go. Arturo taking it, and we've got flashing lights on the stage. We do. Those are kind of uh, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I, I, I don't like know how I feel about when that. You, when, you, when you play on the uh, on the crumbling laboratory stage, and the explosion happens, and that happens too. <laughs> oh, man, that's the it's best. It's called immersion, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Alex Vai trying to go in for the rushdown. Nice throw by Arturo. Takes him out of the corner and puts Vai into the corner. Alex, of course, always calling himself the rushdown style player, yeah. rushdown style Ryu. And he now, doesn't like that far full screen game so much. He yeah. wants to be in there. Let's see, now the, it, the advantage of Arturo actually throwing by into the corner. He's got the whole stage to run back now, and yet he doesn't even have to do it right now because he's not getting pushed back by Vai at all. And smart use of that standing fierce to trade with fireballs. Ryu sticks, him, sticks his leg out really far, so it's very easy. We saw him doing that against Warlock earlier as Guile. Perfect Warlock's spacing from Guile. Arturo, dashing back and sticking out that stand strong. Yeah, but unfortunately for Ryu, he sticks out his leg much farther than Guile does. A lot easier to trade for Dalsum. You know, you got to feel like Alex Valle is running out of options right now to approach Arturo. His um, yeah, Arturo's in... ground game and his anti-air game is yeah, perfect. Not sure. Just a couple seconds ago, we saw Alex with a... Uh, Psychic DP attempt. Yeah, yeah. I'm so, not sure I like that. Desperation. that. Oh my goodness, perfect anti-air. I'm not sure I like that overhead from Vi there. Yeah, you get the damage, but after get hit landing that overhead, you lose a lot of momentum. You guys notice Sabin's actually gaining ground? Yep. <laughs> he's not moving back, he's pushing Vi into the corner. It's because Vi is too scared to lose any yeah. more life. Vi on the verge of being eliminated. And there you have Arturo it, smart down Convincingly fierce. eliminates and Alex Valle. has been eliminated by Arturo Saban Sanchez. Arturo Sanchez with an excellent fireball zoning game and a judicious use of his back roundhouse, standing roundhouse, and standing fierce. And you know, he probably knows that Ryu's fireball does not cause a lot of stun. So he's just willing to just trade that oh, stand absolutely. fierce into that fireball. Absolutely.